But I'm going to tell you, but I got to tell you right now, it is really, really cool to talk with you and meet you virtually today. Well, thank you so much. Good chatting with you. Um, how excited are you to be a part of this incredible docu series? Absolutely, this is amazing. I'm so happy that they're doing it now, and there's so many people at home, and they're going to watch this, and they're going to see what it's really about. But because there are so many fallacies and rumors and uh, mixed messages that people had about the time and the area, and they're going to hear it from the mouths of the people who actually lived it. Amazing. I want to go back to the beginnings. Uh, you know, everybody dreams, including myself, of becoming a big rock star. Um, a lot of, for a lot of people, it doesn't happen. For you, it did. When did you realize, when did you all realize that love was a real thing, that you could make a living with this and you could play music for a living? I don't know, probably a couple days ago. You know, really, I didn't. At the time, that was not our main focus. We were musicians, and playing music was this paramount in our lives, so we were not thinking in terms of becoming wealthy or rock stars. That was just, you know, it wasn't really there. It was like something that, you know, somebody else lived. You know, we were musicians. We were working musicians. We played every night. We played at the whiskey. We played four sets a night. They would empty out the place and fill it back up after each set. And that's how we looked at it. We were playing music, doing something that we absolutely adored and getting paid for the privilege, so we couldn't ask for anything more. Tell me about the first time that you met Jim Morrison. Well, when I first met Jim, I think he was nodded out on near the whiskey, uh, sitting on the sidewalk. Jim was a fixture there before they became the doors. That was just this guy, Jim Morrison, who um, liked to drink. And basically, you would see him stumbling around Hollywood up and down the streets. And we became friends. And um, I started listening to their group play. And we never really thought the doors were going to take off. We knew they were good, but they didn't have a bass player. And so it was a very light kind of what we call a dumb contemporary rock band. They were not hard. You know, love was a loud, raucous, hard rock, and the doors were mellow and soft, or so. We just never expected them to have the impact that they were having. Uh, so.